Okay, everyone, this is how to install one of the stacking kits for the Tesla Powerwall 2. There are zero videos online, I have no idea. So the first thing you're gonna need to do is set your first one in, which we already have, but as if we were gonna put a third one on, we're gonna show you where you need to drill first. So this little tool they give you is a little piece of plastic. I'm gonna see if I can put this on one-handed. It has two pieces and they flop inside and then they have this little kickstand here on the bottom on this side and that keeps it bolted in. So we're gonna pop it in there and then we're gonna see if I can come around here and you can see where the kickstand holds it in place. And it just locks in there just like that and you wanna make sure you're flush with the edge of the machine and then you'll drill a quarter inch hole. Once you've got your quarter inch hole drilled, you'll pull it out, you use a one and three eighths bit and finish the hole. Make sure you're taking your time with this. You don't want to hit anything inside. Once you've done that, you're going to slide your second one on and you'll have a spacer that comes with it, which is a about it's a nipple by close. You'll have two rubber washers in between and then you'll have the plastic bushings on the outside that holds it together. This is not what holds it together. This is just making you a chase in between. The rubber washers need to go on the inside and then there's a plastic bushing that gives you the exact spacing in between. Once you've done that, you'll come over here to the other side and you will see your two rails. You'll need to pop off both your plastic covers on both sides. Remember, these have the switches in them so you don't want to have it too much in there. You'll have a big wedge on top and a little itty bitty wedge on the bottom. Now they know the difference is there's a magnet here on top that the top will go on. So you push these together. So you'll put them together. This can kind of be a pain. You'll get it together and it kind of goes in these two little grooves you see on both sides. Then you'll take the Allen wrench that's provided. It's only gonna spin one way clockwise and you'll hear it pop. Once it pops, it is tight and won't come back off. That's what's holding the whole thing together. Come down here to the bottom pop again you'll hear it pop your last thing you'll do is the easiest part of this whole entire thing which is put on your cover on the top and it's magnetized and it drops right on across the top so I'll give you that kind of thing okay all the way down and you just pop those two bolts on both sides and that's what holds the whole thing if you need to get inside you just pop up on it and there's magnetized strip all the way across the top in case you drop anything Last part is you're gonna have some bolt holes. You get these little flat guys with a magnet on them. You put that over the bolt and it magnetizes itself in place. You've just installed your second power wall and you'll have to just bridge the gap. There's plenty of directions online on how to do that. Really super simple guys. You'll just uh, daisy chain them in and then just run your 30-30 breaker inside the gateway. As always guys, have a great day. Hope this helps. So just kind of see where everything is here, kind of a backwards idea, and you'll see the, the strap down the side.